Sixth former Prime Minister Francois Fillon is back in court today to appeal his five-year prison sentence for fraud. The Conservative Republican Party figure was found guilty of creating so-called fake jobs last year for his wife and two of his children. Well, our reporter Eloise Ervoy has been following the case and joins me now in the studio. Eloise, this was a massive case back when it emerged in 2017. Remind us of some of the background to this. Well, Cox, that happened just three months before the first round of the uh, presidential election of that year. The French satirical newspaper Le Canard Enchaîné released an investigation that really became a turning point in the campaign. Fillon was suspected of having used public money to pay his wife, Penelope Fillon, uh, for a position as his parliamentary assistant that she never actually occupied. Uh, so this episode got nicknamed the Penelope Gate, and we learned that Francois Fillon did not only do so with his wife, he apparently paid also two of their children for uh, bogus jobs, and Francois Fillon was also suspected of being implied in many dubious cases implicating large sums of public money, 1.2 million euros in total. And so, of course, back then, some right-wing politicians and Fillon himself denounced what they uh, qualified as a political coup orchestrated by the media just a few months before the presidential election. But in fact, uh, Fillon's popularity was not extremely impacted by this case, uh, by the Penelope Gate. Uh, his final score was pretty much consistent uh, with the pre-scandal polls, and he ended up third in the presidential election even after being charged with fraud. Indeed, so he still remains a popular figure even within the uh, Republican Party. But uh, yeah, there's a lot of echoes, some would say, between this case and the sleaze allegations we've seen coming out of the UK Parliament. On what grounds is Fiona appealing these charges? Well, first, last year, the Fillon were found guilty and fined. Uh, François Fillon got a five-year prison sentence, among which uh, three suspended, and Penelope Fillon, three years suspended. So the Conservative couple appealed, as you said, and will know the final verdict by the end of this month. Fillon claims that even if his wife was not a standard parliamentary assistant, uh, Penelope Fillon was still assisting him in some way and deserved to get paid.